we have a special treat today. We have the winemakers from Germany here. Hello, we have Philip and Stefan from Weingut Frei Bechtel, and they came all the way to Germany to let us taste these wonderful wines. So we'll find out about it, how wonderful they are. So we're going to taste about 11, 12 wines, which is part of our job, as we always say. Taste all the good and the bad wines for you, but I think these are going to be all good ones. So we have our tasting panel here, which is Augie and Jolene, who are going to help us taste the German, and Stefan and Philip are going to tell us a lot more about these wines. So, another day at the office at Schloss Adler. Cheers, let's taste some wines. Just for the record here, this is a Prosecco, which is a German slightly sparkling wine, and this is one of the new tops they have over here, which is like a plastic champagne cork, but it's slightly different. Yeah. And um, then all you do, here we have the winemaker doing it. And when you open it, you just basically twist it. And pop. Well, that's it. So they call it the twist and pop cork, I guess. Yes. Is that what they call it? Yes. Twist and pop. And this is a Prosecco, which is a slight sparkling wine from Germany. Not quite like a champagne. Not as much carbonation in it. It's a natural carbonation. And this is made out of what, what grape is it made out of, Stefan? This is uh, the. What is this? No. Three, three different. It's a cuvee. Perfect. Yes. So we're going to do a little taste of it. Okay. okay, let's do it. Give it a taste over here. Okay. All right, you guys. All right, let's say cheers to everyone here. Cheers! Yeah. Prost. Okay. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to explain how this sparkling wine is made. Because it's not a champagne, it's not a sparkling wine. It's a sparkling wine. So we're going to explain how the sparkling wine is made. Because it's not a champagne, it's not a prosecco. Because only if it comes with the prosecco grape in Italy, we can call it prosecco. So this is a naturally sparkling wine, I think that's what it is. And Stefan will, no. or Philip, will, <laughs> will try to explain it. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> All right, um, go for it. The filling machine, uh, yeah, the filling machine puts some CO2, is it? CO2, no. so there's combination and, in it. And, okay. and there, and so the sparkling, yeah. So you control how much fermentation, how much carbonation goes in the bottle? Yeah. So yeah. you can put a little less, a little more. It just yeah, but uh, over one, how uh, bar have two percent? Five point five. Over two point three bar. bar. We cannot do. That's the maximum. Th that's the, the maximum. maximum. Then it goes to up to sect. Because then you go to a champagne or sparkling wine. Yeah. So anything above two point three bar would be considered. that you would have to sell it as a sect or yeah. sparkling yeah. wine. If it's less than 2.3 bar, then you can call it pale wine, or what the Italians would call prosecco if it's made. Pale wine? Pale, pale. pearl, like a pearl. Oh, pearl wine. Oh, German is called This is what pale. they call pearl wine? They call it yeah. pearl wine in Germany, which is basically a slightly carbonated wine. Okay. And Chef, I'm going to be trying right now. You're on video, Chef, I'm going to be probing the glass. Pinot Grigio, Spätlese, Pinot Grigio, Spätlese. Now this is a German style Pinot Grigio, Spätlese, which is dry. So even it starts as a mm, Spätlese on the residual sugar content, it is a dry Spätlese. So very different, which is more where the German market is going on the drier Spätlese. That's nice. Really nice wine. Yeah, it's the so Ovale. Yes, that is the money. The Ovale links are so a bit abgerundet is, and the white and the and. Ganz schlicht ein Kommt, Du siehst das. Den siehst du nicht, ja. Aber es geht durch.